There is a lady there, you are bleeding. Don't hide it. You are wet. Don't hide it. I'm just helping you. Because I want your miracle to remain. So he say, ah, what will I say? Eh? Yeah? Me big woman. Eh? Yeah? See blood. Okay, oh, where will I go now? Let me just sit down. You are bleeding. I can see blood coming out. Come out, come out, don't hide. Come out, bring her out. Just to help her so that the miracle shall be permanent. It shall be permanent. It's bleeding, it's bleeding. It's bleeding, it's bleeding. I can see you bleeding right now. Jesus love you. Jesus love you. Jesus love you. I can see you bleeding. This is pile of prayer. In confirmation of the prophecy of the man of God that he could see a woman bleeding after her fibroid had burst, this woman comes forward with a flow of blood clearly visible on her trousers. Our problem does not embarrass Jesus Christ because he has solution. You see, you see the blood? You see the blood? Oh my God. Oh my God. I am serving the Lord of miracles. I know, yes, I know. I'm serving the Another Lord one there. of miracles. I know, yes, I know. Madam, don't be shy. Bring a hand. Hold it. I'm serving the you witness yourself. I'm here with you here. But I'm telling you someone who has received fibro has burst out. Blood has burst out. I say, if I'm not saying it, it will not come out. Yeah. He has, he's looking for a way of running to the restroom. From there, he disappeared. He will say, next time he will come. I see. So, as I'm standing here, there's a camera that says East End North End, West End, and South End. That's why I can stand here to tell you this is what has happened. Take her to the bathroom. Take her. Take her there. of Almighty God. Upon the instruction in righteousness of Prophet D.B. Joshua, she is taken to the bathroom and checks herself. Following the prophecy from Prophet D.B. Joshua, the fibroid within her burst and the flow of blood rushed down her leg. Now she is free. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. The tissue paper is clean, confirming her miracle. The bleeding has stopped, and the fibroid is gone. Thank you, Jesus. Church, good morning. Emmanuel, praise the Lord. My name is Ihoma. Alice Obioma, I'm a Nigerian. I was bleeding, too much bleeding. Actually, if not God, I could have been a dead person because I've bleeded for almost two years. This bleeding makes me to stay away from people. Sometimes, in a public place like this, you see the thing will just disgrace me. 
and my blood will keep going, 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 going. Looks as if I'm going to die. So, certain times I, I even faint. It's only God that restored me. My loved ones, some of them couldn't carry it. They say they can't carry it. Then I run to God. There's no other person I can run to. And it's only Synagogue Church of All Nation. That's the only place I can run to. Tell us where you've been, been to for solution. I've been to hospitals. I've gone to some of harbor homes where they give me some harbors to take, some certain things to drink, whether to stop the bleeding will stop. But no avail, no, didn't stop. Most of the times, if I fainted, I would just, God would just restore me back. I don't just know. But in my dreams, I used to see my, my prophet T.B. Joshua in my dreams, most of my dreams. So tell us what happened where you now came to the Synagogue Church of All Nations. When I came to Synagogue Church of Anation last Sunday, prophet mentioned of a lady bleeding heavily. You better come out. If not, the thing will disgrace you. Just, just start coming out. I don't even know that it was fibroid. He was the one that mentioned it is fibroid. I don't even know. Because the thing was so essential. The thing wanted to kill me. Have we ever met with a prophet one-on-one -on -one before he gave me that prophecy? No, 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 no. I was there praying, asking God to locate me, asking Jesus to locate me. So during the mass prayer, when the man of God now spoke that word, tell us actually how you felt that very day. When man of God was praying, I sit before, you know, I said, let me stand for a while. Small time, I decided to sit down. So man of God now mentioned that case. When he mentioned the case, I had a big, it's like, it is a shock in my, in my, in my, in my abdomen. It was so hot. I shout Jesus, shouting Jesus, something busted. I noticed that something busted in my belly. Then the next thing, all my thighs everywhere was blood. I said, let me clean it. The, the ushers rushed me immediately. I said, let me go to the restroom. And exactly what daddy said. I wanted to run away. Daddy, please forgive me. I wanted to run away because I was feeling shy. So it was God that brought me by force. This he is to it. tell you that there's a force of God behind that word. After that prophecy, the bleeding stopped. Before I know it, God started restoring me. I started being myself. If you look at me now and before, ah, I'm too strong. I'm too good. I don't know. I want to thank man of God. He's wonderful. God used him mightily. I'm now, so happy. To go by the glory. Was there anything you could not do that you're able to do now? Can you show us? Can you demonstrate for us? I can't stand for long. But now, I can stop for hours. If you want me to run, I can run. I wouldn't I mean, You can just show, demonstrate to the people of God what the Lord has done. Put your hands up for Christ Jesus. As you can Those of you that are watching me right here in the auditorium, listening to me, if you are home, watching Emmanuel Salvation, there's nothing God cannot do. You that are passing through issues of blood, that feel that nothing will happen on it, come to Jesus. Don't run away. Come, come to this auditorium. Almighty God, we use our prophets and take it away from you in Jesus' name. Amen. All of you there, please, women that are passing through issue of blood, come to Jesus. Don't run away. Stop going to harbor or whatever. Come to his only solution, the last and safe solution. But whenever he mentioned that case is over. I, I was asking God, please locate me, locate me, locate me. I keep demanding, I keep praying, asking God to locate me. That last Sunday was my day. Come, don't run away. Any day can be your day. Jesus will save you in Jesus' name. Amen. Put your hands together for Christ Jesus. Yes, we also know that this bleeding problem actually caused a lot of problems between you and your loved ones. Now, how as your relationship with your loved ones has been since the bleeding has stopped completely and they can see that God has restored you to the original position in which you are created. Now tell us what is your relationship with them now? I call all of them, I tell them, look at what's going on, God has taken place. They are all happy for me. There was a one that wanted to come back this sense, he couldn't make it. He said, go and give your testimony, we are happy for you. It's when the man of God mentioned, and I found out it was fibro. Because was, I have gone to say, I didn't say anything. They didn't say anything about it. They only gave me some drugs to stop the bleeding. But bleeding refused to stop. All this problem of bleeding you've been having...
for many years is actually the result as a cause of that fiber that you had but you never knew. So what was hidden before men was clearly open before God Almighty. And we pray that God Almighty will give you the inner grace to maintain your deliverance and healing in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.